Gabapentin and Horizon in the treatment of restless leg syndrome. What's the difference? I'm Dr. Andy Burkowski of Relax Health, and today we're going to talk about alpha-2 delta ligands. Well, what are alpha-2 delta ligands? Well, alpha-2 delta ligands are a type of calcium channel blocker. Not need to know the technical details, but they affect the brain and nerves, and they decrease nerve signaling, particularly the unpleasant signals, whether it's a seizure or nerve pain, or in this case, the sensations that cause restless leg syndrome. They quiet down the nerves to some extent is one way of thinking about it. Well, these drugs are the consensus first-line medication for restless leg syndrome, and they include Horizont, which the generic name is gabapentin and a carbyl, regular gabapentin, and then also pregabalin, the brand name, one of the brand names is Lyrica. So these, the in terms of the treatment algorithm, most patients should go through conservative measures, making adjustments to other medications, improving sleep habits, addressing insomnia, and then aggressively supplementing iron. But once all of those things have been done, and if the condition is bothersome enough, clinicians should go on to alpha-2 delta ligand medications. Then the question is, should we use gabapentin or horizon? And what's the difference? Well, horizon is called gabapentin anacarbyl because this anacarbyl attachment to the chemical of gabapentin helps with its absorption. So both are gabapentin, but one is absorbed a little bit better than the standard gabapentin. Typically, when one takes gabapentin, it's absorbed high up in the bowels, uh, close to the part of the bowels that attaches to the stomach. And at a certain level, around 600 milligrams, you can't get much more of that gabapentin into the body. The, the receptors that take the gabapentin into the body are used up, and the rest of the gabapentin just shoots through you, essentially. Well, the gabapentin anacarbyl is absorbed differently. It gets down into the bowels of the bowels. It gets absorbed all the way into the lower parts of the bowels, and it uses these high-capacity transporters, which don't really get used up. So you can go to doses well above 600 milligrams to 1,200, 1,800 milligrams, and you can get much better absorption at those high levels. Whereas with regular gabapentin, you have to take multiple doses separated by a few hours. And uh, on an empty stomach, the absorption of these drugs is even worse. So with Horizon, it gives you that advantage that it is absorbed over a longer period of time, so it lasts longer, maybe 12 to 24 hours in some patients, and it can be absorbed at a higher rate at a higher dose. So in terms of what the downside is of Horizon, it's an FDA-approved drug, but right now it's fairly expensive, so most patients cannot afford to pay for it out of pocket, and most insurers choose not to cover it or still make it unaffordable if they do cover it. So gabapentin is most commonly used, even though Horizon is the FDA-approved drug. In terms of how I approach these medications, I typically will use gabapentin first for practical reasons. I may try pregabalin or Lyrica. But if somebody has a partial response to regular gabapentin, I may go after Horizon because it that extra absorption may produce a stronger effect than the regular gabapentin. So that's a consideration. And if the cost changes in the future, this may tr change the order in which these medications are prescribed. But generally, the, these are considered the consensus first-line drugs for restless legs syndrome if drugs are needed, which is not always the case. As always, this this video is for general medical information only. It does not constitute medical advice or medical practice, please make all decisions like this with the help of a licensed medical provider. And as always, one of the keys to sleeping well is to relax.